In this illustration, we will analyze another pulley system and support brakes. If we are given that in the system shown in figure mass m is 20 kg and we are required to find the reading of sp1 and sp2 and acceleration of blocks just after a string 1 is cut. So, again like the previous illustration here, we need to analyze the forces in equilibrium and then after a string 1 is cut. So, here if we have a look, then we can see in the system if a tension acting on a block B is T1, then throughout this string tension will remain T1. And if the pulley spring system is light, tension here will be 2T1 and tension acting in a string 1 is say T2. So, here if we analyze the blocks at equilibrium, of blocks, we can see for block A, a downward force on it is T2 plus its weight mg and upward force on it is 2T1. And for block B here we can see downward force on it is its weight 3mg and upward force on it is T1. And at equilibrium, all these forces are balanced. So the value of T1 is 3mg, and the value of 2T1 is equals to T2 plus mg. So this is the initial state. But when a string 1 snaps, then obviously the value of tension T2 suddenly goes down to 0. So this mass will have a tendency to move up. And here we can analyze the situation that this mass, if it starts going up, would say acceleration A, then we can write its equation because this tension will suddenly won't change because this mass is having inertia and just after this string is cut, it starts moving with some initial acceleration. So we can simply say the reading of a spring balances won't change because reading changes only when there is some displacement in the strings connected to the spring balances. Here, uh, due to inertia of blocks A and B, initially just after a cut, these will be at rest and they start moving from rest. So, just after a cut, the value of uh, spring balance reading will remain same. So, here we can calculate the value of T1 as the value of T1 is 3mg. We can simply write uh, the reading. of sp1 and sp2 is equals to this will be t1 which is measured in terms of g so we can simply write this is 3 mg divided by g that will be 3 m and the value of m is given as 20 kg so this is 60 kg that will be one answer for the problem that means in equilibrium the reading is 60 kg and just after string 1 snaps the reading of spring balances will not change as due to inertia blocks they won't displace at the initial moment. And now if we wish to calculate the acceleration of blocks for block B we can say as this tension remains same. Initially the weight and T1 will be balanced for block B. So we can write just after The string 1 is cut, acceleration of block B is equals to 0 because just when it is cut, tension T1 remains same. So, as T1 remains same, block B won't start moving at the initial moment. So, its acceleration can be taken as 0. For block A, it is experiencing 2 T1 in upward direction and its weight in downward direction. So, we can write for block A. This 2t1 minus mg is equals to ma, and the value of t1 is 3mg. So this is 6mg minus mg is equals to ma. M gets cancelled out, and the value of acceleration for block A we can get here is 5g in upward direction. So these will be the final results of acceleration of blocks A and B.